Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you a New Year's Eve look and the look that I'm wearing today is um, very glittery and highlighted and you could also wear this with a darker lip. I wasn't quite sure whether to go with the darker lip or the nude lip and I thought I would leave it with the nude um, and then you could decide what you wanted to go with. I actually really love this look so I really hope you like it too. I'm going to start with a little bit of contour and this is a NARS multiple. And then taking the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte and this is in Rose Beige. And I'm just going to squeeze the end of the bottle all over the face. And this is a little bit darker than I would normally have my foundation, but I would also normally have tan underneath here. And then I'm going to use the sponge just to dab that in. And then taking a bit of the Maybelline Eraser Eye and I'm going to highlight with this underneath the eyes in a triangular shape down the side of the nose as well. Just going to go underneath the nose and around the corners of the mouth. I'm also going to take just a dab of that across the top of the chin and down the nose. And I'm just going to take my ring finger and blend all of that in. And then I'm going to take areas a little bit lighter again using the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. I'm going to concentrate on this area here and a line down the centre of the face. And then I'm going to set under the eyes using the Laura Mercier Secret Whitening Powder. And then before I powder the rest of my face, I'm going to take the sleek highlighting palette, and this is the Precious Metals palette. And I'm going to take this champagne colour at the top right and apply this to the cheekbones above the brow and under the brow on the tip of the nose and a line down the centre and a little bit on the top of the lip here I'm then going to set the rest of the face using the Collection 2000 Press Powder and then going to go over the top of that highlight using the Rodial Illuminating Powder and then using NARS Laguna to contour. For blush, I'm just going to take a Peach Ben Nye blush. And then I'm going to prime the lids using the Urban Decay Anti-Age Primer. And then fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown and using the Maybelline Brow Drama in Medium Brown. I'm then going to highlight underneath the brow using the Rodial Instagram Magic Pen. I'm going to blend that out. So onto the eyes then, I'm going to line the lower waterline using the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cheat. I'm now going to take Half Baked from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to run this all the way around the tear duct area, bringing it up towards in line with the brow here and dragging that underneath. I'm then going to go over to Chopper from the Naked 2 palette and take this all across the lid and beginning to come up into the crease area. I'm then going to take a little bit of Busted but not too much of this, I don't want to make the eye too dark. And I'm just going to go into the crease area of the eye here. And I'm going to take that same colour underneath the eye as well just joining up to that gold that we've placed there. Then moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to create a winged look using the L'Oreal Super Liner in Black Liqueur. I'm just going to go underneath the lash line as well here, just on the outer part, just joining up 
with the cat's lick. For lashes, I am taking the lashes from H&M. I couldn't see a name for these on the box anyway. I'm then going to blend those lashes into my own lashes using the Lancome Hypnose Drama. I'm also going to apply this to the lower lashes as well. I'm then taking the Lip Cheat by Charlotte Tilbury and this is in Pillow Talk. I'm just going to line all the way around the lips. I'm just going to go a little bit above my natural lip line as well. I'm then going to colour in the rest of my lips using the pencil. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments and replying to you. Just want to say as well, thank you so much for your support this year and since I've started on YouTube. I love reading your comments and I really do recognise the names that continually comment over and over in each video that I post and on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for this year supporting me. I really hope you have a happy new year and I will see you in 2016. Bye.